Pair 1 today will be taking part as E2, the newest phone currently. So let's turn it off, make sure it's completely off before we can work on it. Turn it off. Now there's two screws right here to pop the screen off. Let's remove it. Boom. One is gone. Second one. Need to remove second one. Second one removed. Now we have to use suction to remove the screen. Use some knife just to get under the screen to remove water resistant coating. As you can see, like this. Popping this thing up and all the way around. Okay, let's go all the way around. Have to remove the screen. Just gonna lift it up. Coming off, excellent. Be careful because you have a ribbon on the side, so be really careful when you remove it. Okay, here it is. Press remove the screen. I got it turned off again. the screen as you can see everything is different inside from iPhone 8 so let's remove let's remove the screws I'm gonna take the whole thing apart Once we remove all these four screws right here, we can remove this plate. Easily, boom. And now we have to unplug this one. Remove this screw right here to fully remove the screen. There's actually four screws, one right here, one right here, one right here, and one is hiding in the corner right there to remove this plate. Once you remove it, you can unplug the screen right here by moving up and now you can unplug it right here so and then there's one more right here so now you can remove the screen completely and now we have a phone left we're gonna take some more parts apart okay to remove camera you'll have to unscrew there's two screws one right here and one right here I already unscrew them so now I'm just have to pop it out that's the clip for it as you can see right here and now the camera is gonna come off right now there's the connector for it and as you can see the camera just came off now we're gonna remove the motherboard there's screws right here there's one right here already removed right here and then there's a couple more right here right here and there's one more right here don't forget to remove your sink tray to pop it out the motherboard once you unscrew the screws because it's still holding your thing. Okay, once you remove the motherboard, you will have to unplug all of these cables here. You'll have to unplug this thing on the top. Make sure everything is here. Everything is unplugged before you remove the motherboard because you can break these. It's got a bunch of screws. Make sure the same tray is out, everything, all the screws all out. So now we're gonna remove charging port. There's some more screws right here, and then the battery. 
Okay, once you remove all the screws on the bottom, you can remove the this thing, the one of the speakers. And then remove the static charging port, as you can see right here. So make sure there's still a couple of screws left in this thing. And right here, we need to remove it. There's a couple of screws left right here to remove it. Okay, once this two screws removed, we can now lift it up the Taptic engine and remove it. Okay, once you remove all the screws here on the charging board, there's a couple more screws down there, right here. Now you can start by lifting this thing up all the way and remove the charging port, including microphone, everything is here. So as you can see, the battery left for the last part. So we gotta pull this things up. Remove these things. And we're gonna pull by that once we remove it. You pull these things and the battery should lift up pretty easily. So once you remove these two things, now you pull on them easily. There's your glue. There's the glue and the battery is coming up. Not very easily, I guess the last part then came up. Well, so here it is. Everything is apart. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more videos. And bye bye.